Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. Today I'm super excited because it's Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers 4! For today's battle, I'll be representing Australia and I'll be competing against three other puzzlers from around the world. And they are Donna Louise from For the Love of Puzzles representing New Zealand, Vicky from Vicky Makes and Builds representing the UK, and Jeanette from Jeanette and Her Puzzles representing Slovenia. Sadly, Judy from Addicted to Puzzles couldn't join us for this battle, but we do hope to have her back for the next one. So please give everyone a warm welcome and be sure to watch everyone's videos to see how we all did. And if you're not already following them, then go check out their channels, which are linked in the description box below, and please consider subscribing. So I'd also like to give a big thank you to our sponsor for this battle, Speed Puzzle Europe, who kindly sent us the puzzles for this battle for free. Speed Puzzle Europe has an online shop that showcases a wide range of European puzzle producers, trying to level the playing field by using puzzles from lesser known brands in their speed puzzling competitions. So, the puzzle for today's battle is... I have no idea! For this battle, Michelle from Speed Puzzle Europe chose the puzzle, so it's a complete mystery. What I do know is that Michelle ended up choosing the puzzle based on worldwide availability rather than ease. So that could mean that this puzzle might be a tad bit trickier than the blue car puzzle from the last battle. And it could even mean that we might have to resort to sorting pieces by shape. So fingers crossed it's not that tricky. Now if you're in Europe and you'd like to grab yourself a copy of this soon to be revealed puzzle, I do have an affiliate link and partner code for the Speed Puzzle Europe website, speedpuzzle.eu, and you can find those in the description box below. If you do happen to use those, uh, the purchase price for the puzzle will be the same for you. However, I will earn a commission, which I plan to use to help this channel grow. Now, before I get to revealing this puzzle, there's just a few other little bits of important information. One, please no spoilers in the comments, as we want to keep everyone's time a surprise, especially for those who might be watching the videos at a later date. Also, for today's battle, we'll be using the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship rules, where we have 90 minutes to try and complete our puzzle. If we don't finish the puzzle within the time, we just count our remaining pieces, and any three or more connected pieces count as assembled, even if they're not actually connected to the large or main part of the puzzle. And lastly, we would love for you all to join in on the fun and have a go at doing the puzzle too. In the description box below, there's a link to a Google form where you can enter your time. And if you don't want to speed run the puzzle and you just want to have a go at it for fun, that's totally fine. You can still enter your details into the form. And since you're only finding out about the puzzle now, we'll have the Google form open for quite a bit longer until the 31st of August. So hopefully that should give you plenty of time to grab yourself a copy of the puzzle and have a go at it. Anyway, I think it's finally time to crack open this puzzle and see what we're dealing with. Okay, let's open this up. <sighs> I'm definitely a little bit nervous to see what this is. Uh, how do I, oh, okay, I think it's a uh, GB proof because apparently I can't rip it open. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, I think I already know what this is and it definitely, uh, in my opinion, looks a little bit tricky. So, well, probably tell already this is a Ravensburger 500 piece and I can't remember what it's called but it is this one so uh definitely looks tricky so what is it called it's called uh polygon line which yeah that makes sense and yeah it's actually um I actually have this one in my collection but I haven't actually done it uh, uh story of my life with puzzles my puzzle to do piles are well out of control um but yeah I actually really like this design I think it's really cool um whether I like it uh, after speed puzzling it or attempting to, we'll see. But yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a really cool design. So I'm definitely looking forward to doing this puzzle one way or another. I just uh, hadn't imagined quite uh, doing it in <laughs> quite this way, but I think it's going to be interesting. Um, so let's have a bit of a close up look and um, I'll just quickly go through sort of, I guess, my strategy. All right, so as much as this is a really cool image and I'm excited to put it together, I do think it is going to be quite tricky. Uh, it is, a, as far as I can tell, a completely symmetrical image and there's also all these little shapes and there's a lot of similar colors going on in some areas and some dark patches, so I think that could be a little bit difficult to do. Um, but, you know, we've also got some very bright areas down here, the bright reds, the green eyes, the sort of brighter orange and white areas, so I'm hoping to be able to uh, sort those, pull those colors out, and that's probably the sort of area I'll start building first. Maybe eyes, mouth, and yeah, the middle section. 
um, just because it's the brightest and probably, in my opinion, the easiest part, I guess. And then, you know, if I can further sort colors like these oranges and grays, I will, but I'm not sure how easy that'll be when looking at all the pieces in the box, but I'll try my best. And I'm gonna also pull out all the border pieces and just pop those aside. I'll probably do that last. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, I do think I'm gonna have to sort by piece shape, even though I uh, hoped I wouldn't, because I think these dark patches down here especially might be quite uh, tricky and they, you know, might be quite hard to sort of tell apart. So yeah, that might, I might have to resort to sorting by piece shape to try and get through that. So I have no idea how long this is gonna take me. It is, I think, more on the maybe time consuming, tricky side, but I'm also gonna have a lot of fun doing it, I think. So I guess wish me luck and I'll see you on the other side. I'm back and uh, as you can probably tell, sadly I didn't manage to finish the puzzle within the 90 minutes and I did have quite a lot left to do still. I counted the pieces and I ended up having 96 pieces left, so still quite a lot. And unsurprisingly, uh, most of those pieces were sort of in these black, gray, kind of darker areas. So I had no idea how long this was gonna take me, but I did secretly hope that maybe somehow I could pull off doing this within 90 minutes, but Alas, that wasn't the case. Um, but you know what? I had a really good time doing this and I just tried my best and I'm pretty happy with how I went anyway. So for the most part, I think I stuck to my strategy pretty well and it ended up working quite well for me too. Uh, I ended up sorting out these bright colors in the middle first. So the green eyes, the bright oranges and whites, the reds, and I pulled aside these border pieces. I also managed to pull out some of these brownie oranges here and then everything else that was a bit hard to distinguish, I kind of just left in the box until later. 
And yeah, this bright section in the middle is what I started building with first. And I think that worked out pretty well for me. Um, it was a little bit more tricky than I anticipated and the whole thing was actually. So the thing is when I'm looking at the box, the image looks fairly clear and easy to tell what's going on. Uh, but when you're looking at a larger image broken up into lots of little pieces, each piece is quite abstract looking because you've got little slices of colors and triangles. And uh, once you get past this bright section, it can be quite hard to tell what piece goes where because a lot of the colors become very similar and murky and very dark. So yeah, definitely a tricky and time consuming puzzle, that's for sure. So even though I didn't manage to finish the puzzle within the 90 minutes, I'm still pretty happy with my progress and happy with the strategy. I think it worked out pretty well for me. I mean, apart from being a really fast puzzler and really practiced at speed puzzling, I'm not really sure what else I could have done to have gotten closer to completing this within the time. I mean, maybe sorting some of these darker sections by piece shape earlier on could have helped. I'm not too sure. But yeah, it might just come down to, you know, just how fast you are and how much practice you've had at speed puzzling. But overall, I, yeah, like I said, happy with my progress, quite enjoyed putting together what I've done so far. And I'm actually looking forward to uh, tackling these darker sections and finishing the puzzle. So I'm super curious and excited to know what the others thought of this puzzle design and of course, how they all went. And I really wanna know if anyone was able to complete this within the 90 minutes. So since we all know how I did with the puzzle, let's go check out everyone else's videos. You can find links to their videos in the description box below. Once again, I'd like to give a big thank you to Speed Puzzle Europe for sponsoring us for this battle. Don't forget if you're in Europe and you'd like to grab yourself a copy of this puzzle, I do have my Speed Puzzle Europe link in the description box below. And if you do happen to use the link, thank you so much. I do earn a commission from that and that will definitely help this channel grow. And if you do end up doing this puzzle, definitely fill out our Google form, which is linked in the description box below. You have until the 31st of August to fill that one out. And even if you do the puzzle just for fun, you can still enter your details into that. And if you do decide to speed run the puzzle and time yourself, then please use the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship rules of trying to complete the puzzle within 90 minutes. And if you don't complete it within the time, just count your remaining pieces just like I did. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.